Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, just got a last minute quick cruise news story that I wanted to share with you guys here at the end of the day. Something that we didn't want to see happen. Something we didn't want to see come back, but unfortunately it has and we now have a requirement to wear masks again, at least on one cruise ship from Princess Cruise Lines. So Princess Cruise Lines has changed the masking policy on board the Island Princess due to positive COVID cases amongst both the guests and the crew members. Now they have not specified the amount of cases that they have on board and everybody that has tested positive or a close contact, of course, has been confirmed. They've been isolated. They are removed from the remaining passengers on board the ship. But there must be enough cases on board that they consider it a concern if they're bringing back the masking policy. Now, they are calling this an abundance of caution. But again, you are going to be required to wear a mask anytime you are indoors unless you are eating, drinking, or in your stateroom and outdoors in large crowded situations where social distancing just isn't possible. Now again, this is only for the Island Princess. Now the Island Princess is currently sailing a 34 night transatlantic voyage. She left from Florida, is heading over to Southampton in the UK, and is currently the only ship that is being affected by this. So it's not a princess-wide requirement. It is not any other cruise line requirement, only just this one ship. Now, they did send out a letter to the passengers on board the ship. I'm going to go ahead and put that up here for you now. We recently identified some positive COVID-19 cases among our guests and teammates. They are all asymptomatic or only mildly symptomatic, and they and their close contacts have been isolated and quarantined and are being monitored and cared for by our shipboard medical team. Out of an abundance of caution, we will now be requiring guests to wear face masks while indoors at all times except when eating or drinking or in their staterooms. And since Princess has put this policy back in place for this sailing, they will be providing any guest with masks that they need. So if the guests don't happen to have one with them, which most should because especially with different ports that they visit, you never know what the port requirements may be. But if you don't have a mask for any reason, Princess will be providing it. And that of course brings up the question, is this going to be a trend that we may see coming up here in the future as cruise ships start to get COVID cases on board, which you know they've kind of had the whole time. We just don't hear about it as much as we used to, but in this case, you know, it is a long voyage. It is a transatlantic voyage. Just the first section of this voyage is 18 days, and then it follows on with the remainder for a total of 34. So with people on board that are testing positive over a cruise of this length, I understand why they would have put the masking policy back in place. But I do wonder if we have shorter cruises here in the U.S., that are, you know, going to the Caribbean, going to Alaska, whatever the case may be, they get a certain amount of guests that test positive on these cruises. You never know if you could get this email or this letter in your stateroom while you're on board the ship saying, hey, guess what? Time to put the face mask back on. But, you know, we've all been saying all along, COVID is here for the long haul. It's not something that's going to go away immediately. And there's always the chance that some of these protocols that we've had in the past and are finally over and no longer have to do, could come back in certain cases, certain circumstances, just like they have here today. All right, I hope you did enjoy this video. As I said, I just wanted to get this quick cruise news video out to you. That way you guys know what exactly what is going on out there in cruising. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It's free to do so, helps our channel grow, and keeps you informed on any news videos we put out just like this one. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.